and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. I hope you're all having a wonderful Friday. Happy weekend to you all. Today is my June at the moment video. So this is a video where I talk about the last um, book I'm, the books that I'm currently reading, the last film I watched, the last TV series I watched, etc, etc. I started doing them as a sort of like mid-month check-in um, just because I feel like sometimes, although I enjoy things, if it's not my favourite, it doesn't always get mentioned. Um, and I just feel like it's a really great way to sort of like what's the word I'm thinking of log do I mean log but like just sort of earmark some things that I've been up to during the month but anyway start talking about them Lauren so the first thing I always start with is my favorite um no not favorites get your head in the game babes um is the books that I'm reading at the moment so I'm currently reading two books I've got a few good books on the go in terms of goodreads um but I'm taking part in something that I have coined um, June Air this month. Am I off centre? Yeah, get in the centre, Lauren. Don't do that. Um, I've coined June Air, where I'm reading all books um, to do with Jane Eyre this month, um, be it retellings, books inspired by that. Um, I've got all sorts of exciting things. And at the moment, I am reading actual Jane Eyre, <laughs> um, which I'm really, really enjoying. Now, I can't remember the last time I read it. I feel like it was maybe school, although I think, I feel like I have revisited it since then um but I'm loving it I'm really really loving it I was reading it the first hundred pages I was reading when she was at school um and um like when she's at her uh, her aunt's house and then when she goes to school and I was thinking bloody hell I'm loving this I do remember liking this before but maybe I like it less when it gets to the bit where she's at um Fairf is it Fairfax Hall yeah Fairfax Hall um and now I'm still really loving it now <laughs> what I will remember is that there's this fucking weird thing in the middle where um where bloody Mr. Rochester dresses up as a, um, like a, um, a fortune teller and tries to, like, swindle everyone into believing that he's a fortune teller. I just remembered that and that's weird when that happens in this. Um, but I'm also listening to the audiobook of Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, um, which if you've been here a while, well, you, you will know it's one of my favourite books, Evs. Um, and although Daphne du Maurier never explicitly said that Rebecca was based on Jane Eyre, there are so many bloody parallels to it. Particularly, I'm, I'm realising them a lot because I'm listening to the audiobook and reading Jane Eyre at the same time. So it's both set in like a gorgeous hall. Both women, uh, Jane Eyre and um, the female lead of Rebecca, whose name you never discover, um, are both constantly described as plain girls with not much about them and things like that. And very sort of modest and mild-mannered. Um, they're both Max in De Winter and Mr. Rochester, bossy, bossy knobheads basically that just chat shit all the time. Um, fire is a theme that appears in both. Um, and yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just really enjoying reading Jane Eyre and listening to Rebecca particularly at the same time because like I'm just getting to see all the, all the similarities b b uh, about them both. But yeah, really, really enjoying them. So Re Rebecca is a book that I love. It's one of my favourite books of all time. I always um, give it five stars every time. But the last, uh, this time and the time before, I listened to the audiobook of it. And it's a really good audiobook. Anna Massey um, is the narrator of it. Very good. Really, really enjoy it. Um, film, last film I watched. God, the last film I watched. Talking about these things, sort of like checking in mid-month um, because they're not always in my favourites. This is definitely going to be in my favourites. I watched Knock Down the House on Netflix. Um which is a Netflix original film, um, uh, like a documentary about four women who are running for um, the Democratic Party and trying to sort of um, uproot um, say, um, congressmen that have been in um, in the Congress. Oh God, I don't know the actual. I'm not American, right? Um, so I don't really know the political terms, but like people who've been in Congress for a really long time and potentially don't even live in the state that they're the congressman for. Um, and it follows um, AOC, who is like my new favorite woman of all time. Uh, Amy Valina, Cory Bush and Paula Jean. And I think it's Swearengin, Swearengin. And they're running for uh, New York congresswoman nevada missouri and west virginia um and you follow their campaigns and you follow their life stories and how they've ended up um going for um congresswoman and you see that these are all normal working women who want to stand for normal working americans and it's just amazing i just cried throughout because it's just so powerful the women in it are just so amazing and um they're just just so they believe in themselves so much and it's just i don't just I mean, it's, things are changing now, aren't they? And there are more women on TV like that, but it just I just loved it. I thought it was amazing. And AOC, like I said, she's my new bae. I love her. Um, 
so yeah great great documentary would definitely definitely recommend watching it i feel emotional just thinking about it uh tv what have i been watching um I've been watching Love Island, but I'm not going to mention Love Island here because what I'm going to mention is the, 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 the thing that we've been watching a hell of a lot of, um, and that's Gavin and Stacey. So Gavin and Stacey is a, um, a BBC um, sort of comedy drama um, that finished uh, nine years ago. Uh, it had three series and a Christmas special. If you're from the UK, you'll be very, very familiar with it, but it follows um, Gavin um, and Stacey who um, have a long distance relationship and, and meet and get married um, and their families friends and it's just it's just so um just so funny and heartwarming and wonderful and um david and i love it anyway but earlier this month um james corden who wrote and starred in it has announced that they're doing a christmas special this year which is just unbelievable and so unexpected um he is forever being asked if he's ever bringing it back and he's very successful in america now with a talk show and things like that and just never ever thought it would come back and there's gonna be a christmas special this year on christmas day so as if i don't love christmas enough the fact that there's gonna be a gavin and stacy christmas special as well just amazing so David and I have been probably early doors re-watching Gavin and Stacey um, just to sort of uh, remind ourselves why we love it so much and we do love it so we do love it so like every single character in that program is so well thought out and even like the periphery the periphery characters so like Gavin's parents friends they're hilarious and like it's just and like Stacey's mum's next door neighbour um, and Smithy's sister they're all just so perfectly done and yeah I just love the program I think it's so funny and I cannot wait um, to see what they're going to do with it at Christmas because on re-watching it there are a few jokes that could do with a bit of um a bit of updating in terms of like so when I watch Friends as well I notice that a lot now so I feel like it's the perfect opportunity to sort of update it and just make it even better than it was before so i'm so so excited about it i'm so so excited so yeah we've been watching a lot of gavin and stacy if you haven't watched it before definitely check it out i don't know if it's particularly like maybe a british thing and particularly like a welsh or a um, an english thing but yeah it's just so great and just so heartwarming so yeah love that uh music i haven't really been listening to any uh, music in particular um one thing i will say is that i've been obviously i feel like this is, i might even have mentioned this in and at the moment before um and that's the song sorry not sorry by demi lovato because that was the uh the song that um brooklyn heights and evie oddly did a uh, dance off to uh, i always say dance off but i mean lip sync battle to um on uh, rupaul's drag race not even in the final just just halfway through um so that is a constant that's constantly being listened to um but i feel like i might have mentioned that before but apart from that not really any other music listening not really any other music listening to is that sentence uh podcasts um so i feminists don't wear pink which is a book that i read last year is a collection of essays um from women about what feminism means to them there's also an accompanying podcast and series one was last year when the book came out um and series two is happening now first episode's come out it's got Mindy Kaling in it I've listened to a really really short bit of it um so looking forward to listening to a bit more of that but also um I listened to the Hilo which is a podcast run by two journalists Dolly Alderton and Pandora Sykes um and they talk about um like current affairs and things like that and um I really really enjoy this podcast I get a lot of um, recommendations from it what I will say is that it is definitely um on the privileged side of life um which um I sort of when when listening to it I, I don't need to remind myself of that because it's very privileged when you're listening to it um but that sort of is a disclaimer um but at the moment what they're talking about um what what i listened to on my way home from work today actually um was um some uh, some interviews between um, women who are talking about not wanting children um you may or may not know but david and i don't want children um and it's sort of addressing like how women um in their 40s are often seen as failures if they don't have children or like it's the worst thing literally that could happen to them that they have not had children um and uh it's something that i don't often hear talked about and actually when D david and i have known for quite some time that we don't want children i won't go into too much detail about it now um because maybe i'll make a video about it i don't know um but People always used to say to me, oh, you'll change your mind, you'll change your mind. Um, and I always used to think, I probably won't, but like, I used to keep quiet for their sake. Um, and also, um, people would sort of think I potentially couldn't have children, and that's why I was saying it. Um, and these sort of issues were being addressed. Um, and it was just a bit eye-opening for me to hear women like who think the same as me, um, because I feel like I have always 
the way I was brought up is that, oh, you grow up, get married and have babies. Um, and potentially I don't feel like I ever really felt like I wanted to be a mother. Um, I feel like that was definitely realized um, much later in life. Like I'd go as far as to say like in the last sort of five years, I've definitely realized that that was an option for me. I didn't even know that there was an option um, that I didn't have to be a mother, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, bloody hell, it's getting deep. But yeah, that podcast I've been listening to because there's people on there talking about um, not wanting to be a mother and actively choosing not to have children, um, which isn't something that I hear about. And actually, Grace Dent, um, who is one of the interviews that they're talking about, is interviewed on a parenting podcast, which I feel like is really <clears throat> fresh because, um, like, some people don't want to be parents and why shouldn't that also be included in a parenting podcast so yeah really enjoyed listening to that um and very much we'll probably go back and listen to it again actually so very much enjoyed that uh, and then in terms of youtube the la uh, so i've been watching um on youtube actually i've got three things to mention for youtube because two things that have happened like very recently that I can't ignore but also something else I've really been enjoying on YouTube so um, Little Mix the band are currently on their on their YouTube channel doing um, Come Dine With Me at each other's houses uh, I found out about this Anna James who also has a booktube channel uh, posted about this on Twitter and I went instantly and watched it um, and the four members of Little Mix there's only three episodes up at the moment but they go to each other's houses cook a three course meal and then put on some entertainment and <laughs> it's just so sweet they're just having an absolutely lovely time the, three, uh, the all four of them so um, it's really nice to see like them just having a fun time and being off duty and stuff like that and it's definitely worth a worth a watch if you are aware of who Little Mix are um, and then something else I wanted to talk about is something that um, I, I put up yesterday on my channel I put up a video yesterday I've got an alphabet series where I work my way through the alphabet and I talk about um, different sort of social issues and things that I've experienced with um, and I've done A is for anxiety, B is for body positivity, C is for cruelty free, D is for dress sizes, E is for exercise and yesterday I put up my latest video which is F is for fast fashion. Now this video has been like eight months in the making I decided I wanted to make it last October um, and just haven't really got round to doing it um, and I've made it and I'm really really pleased with it there's um it, it's sort of split into three sections where I talk about what fast fashion is um, my shopping habits and how I've changed them and then um, things that I've bought secondhand and how I've styled my wardrobe and things like that to to factor them in um, I will link it down below if you haven't watched it already then it would be wonderful if you would go and watch it it's not book related um, but I'm really, really proud of it, and I'm so pleased that I finally got around to making it. So yeah, I'll link that down below. And then the last thing, which is literally the last YouTube video that I've watched, um, I uh, was watching whose channel was it? Oh, the Bookcastle's channel, who I love. I love Alice from the Bookcastle, and she recommended um, an ASMR channel. Now I'm I don't go for ASMR; it doesn't really do anything for me. Um, but this one is a Harry Potter um, themed ASMR channel. I will link the link down below. Um, and this afternoon, after I had my lunch, I just put on one of those videos. I believe it was the Hufflepuff dormitory video, which has just got noises of like um, like of crackling fire and people walking in the snow outside and like far off chatter and um, someone pouring a glass of water and just had a little nap on the sofa. And although ASMR doesn't do the things for me like ASMR does for people, it was just so relaxing to have like a bit of background noise. Um, so yeah, so definitely check out that channel. I really, really loved it. And there's like Hogwarts at Christmas one. So I know they're probably gonna be like, I'm thinking of like factoring them into my cozy reading nights because quite often we don't have a background to cozy reading like background noise and I can't read when like music is going on but I definitely think I could read when those things were happening so yes definitely that and then online the last thing I did online boringly was pay my council tax I haven't really done anything else online um yeah paid my council tax today uh, I had to take my council tax bill into work um today as well to to prove that I live where I live because they're just having a, a parking a par this is this is just the ins and outs of my life they're changing the parking regulations at work guys if you're wondering what's going on in my life and I had to prove that I live as far away from the hospital that I work at as I do so I can still park there because otherwise I mean it's gonna take me about four hours to walk there if I can't drive there um so yes so that is uh, my at the moment tag would be interested to hear what you are up to at the moment what have you been watching listening to what you've been watching on YouTube what you've been reading always like to hear some um what from you guys and what you've been up to um and I'll see you all again soon for another victory video goodbye